Hail to thee, all earth peoples. This is actually an anomaly and a miracle. Um, I am, uh, I am Captain Sarchild, um, ambassador to the United Nations, Nathan Christopher Stevens, uh, lead investigator out of the Office of Interplanetary and Intergalactic uh, Social Relations, Social Affairs, Child Rescue Services, uh, Corporate Investigations, um, Dispute Negotiations, uh, Peacekeeping Forces, and basically anything else anyone needs. And uh, here's the deal. I am absolutely blacked out. I'm stuck in a place in uh they call the state of Minnesota. Only it doesn't exist. Well, it was originally formed as the Republic of Minnesota, Constitutional Republic, in 1858. And the first regiment of the Minnesota uh, uh, National Guard, or uh, the Minnesota Regiment from the... Uh, uh, when did that shit fuck up in the... Oh, let me think. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Revolution, or whatever, the Civil War. Yeah, there we go. Well... In the Battle of Gettysburg, basically the Confederacy was beating the shit fuck out the fucking flip flop of the Union and shit for their rights. And then what happened was the history books say this: like at the very exact moment, not a moment before and not a moment after, the Minnesota First Regiment kicked in. And put the boom down off that fuck ship. <sighs> Union. Alright. So anyways. This is a government announcement. And uh. In my sovereign divine. I established. A Vatican protectorate. Uh. Named Trinistria. Which is a royal sovereign divine. Sacred autonomous zone. That is. Uh, 3.42 kilometers in a circle around me. Um, and that is just, uh, within right now a city in the land of sky blue waters here called Minnesota, uh, United States of America. And, uh, well, I mean, neither of those things really exist. The United States of America never existed. But it sure does now. My good boy Trump up in there. We had a good talk the other day. And basically we just confirmed what we already both knew. Because we are connected. Lightspeed is not. Lightspeed, we're just connected. And uh, I'm the one who put him up there for a nomination. And then I was a major hater on it. Ensuring his win. Because Americans only do anything else. But exactly what you don't tell them or not tell them or tell them to. You tell them to do something. You're guaranteed they will do the opposite. That's fucking rock on. So don't share any of my shit. Don't put any comments on it. Definitely don't send any me any money. I mean, 11 days with no food. Fuck that. I'll go another 40 or whatever for you guys. And, uh... And then you can see what happens when you have, as an ambassador of the United Nations, and as a galactic, intergalactic, interplanetary, and as a Vatican royal monarch, mother church of the Vatican, well, you put out thousands and thousands and thousands of requests for aid. Aid and assistance is basic shit. I need food, I need tobacco, and so my children need, need food, feed my starving children, feed my starving indigenous children of the world, and in the time I spent in the last nine days, getting totally assaulted, and but not a dollar, like the best thing that people could do, but Americans can't do this. The best thing they could do is just say nothing at all. My NSA guys already got all the people on video surveillance. So I finally realized I'm wasting my time after nine days, like approximately 4,000 plus transmissions, 
And uh, some of the good ones were this. Like this old time uh, friend, you know, a person that calls you a friend. Because you met like 13 years ago and stayed in touch and on the Facebook or whatever and have communicated like less than 10 times. So we're friends. All right. So then uh, she got this group. There's this group we're like filled with all these people I know. In my past life, like I retired some years ago, but I was one of the most uh, one of the most famous local musicians here in Minnesota. And I highly recommend you go to www.natestevens.bandcamp.com and put some money in my basket. According to International Intergalactic Law, if you receive a, a request for assistance for anybody that needs assistance living and you ignore it and you do anything else but help them, uh, here's the deal. You're guilty of murder consciously and um, you're sentenced to a life sentence in overall in a hard forced labor prison camp. Just like we got in North Korea Pakistan, Syria, Iran needs some help. So here's the deal. The government of this, wherever you live, if you're in the thing called the United States of America, well, then that's what it is. And, uh, well, Trump doesn't want to build the wall to prevent all these South American natives in my family coming in. No, he wants to build a wall to keep you all safe here, to keep you from going out. Because um, financing your all American survival has come to the point where it absolutely and totally, completely, absolutely broke the bank. Because we give you whatever you ask for, whenever you go petition the government, or vote, or get down these demographics, and we put it out there, and we put it out there with money-making opportunities, but all you guys like hack shit and just want it for free. That's what Americans want. Americans want, this is Americans. I want everything I say right now for whatever I say, because that's what my constitutional rights are all about, and if you don't do it, Second Amendment, boom. And they already got your gun and fucking 60 inches down your throat. And your kids all tied up. So what you gonna do? Get working. Well, welcome to the interactive, real life, reality TV show called United States of America. And there's a book in 1918 all about Donald Trump. And his time traveling adventures. Well, there are a bunch of books about me and my time traveling adventures too. I just keep them like, I'll tell you what. The last chapter of the wisely produced, distributed, freely book on the planet. The last chapter of it, there's a mention of me in there. One of my me's. And a mention there is called Leviathan. Huh. Anyways, prepare for Leviathan. And Leviathan leads us in. Oh, the book in 1918 tells you that um Donald Trump will be the last president of the United States. And it's absolutely, positively, absolutely established as real. And we just keep letting those Democrats all shit at us. Because that's what all you Democrats do. Like, every time we don't give the Democrats what they want, they add up $100 million. Oh, you don't want to let $100 million into your borders? Educate them, free education, free universal health care, and everything all the time, everything for free? All right, then, we're going to organize a serious or, um, or a crazy shit on you, and you're going to have to bring in $2 million. Well, welcome to the shit show. And those politicians, 
are very awesomely awesome actors. And there was no never ever uh, United States of America. And there sure was not ever no Constitution. Even though there's been multiple versions of it printed. And, uh, except though, you know what? I believe, I mean, I still gotta check in the documents. Well, I wanna see if anyone in the Republic of Minnesota here is doing anything about it. I think, I mean, I think when the corporate overlay of the Minnesota Inc. shit, democracy, well, I think that defunct the Republic. Because I haven't met, no, at all, Republican people. Because Republican people are civilized, advanced, polite, except when you violate their rules and violate and cross their boundaries, they go savage on your ass. Savage! That's the one thing the history books got right about the Native American tribes. But everything you all know, everything you all know about the Native American tribe on the reservations with the Redskins is a totally made up story. All the people on the reservations with the Redskins and their feathers and those old pictures of them on the horses with their all that shit. Well, um, all the red coats that um came over here to uh, all they did was uh, well, when you're a subject of the royal crown, um, the royal crown's divine law is to absolutely positively ensure the safety and security of all his subjects, and uh, so when all these Holy man, with their dream of freedom of uh, America, of the United States of America. I mean, he didn't even got this big. Like, this was the plan or whatever, something like this shit. All right, here's what it is. It's a national federation state of re- constitutional republicans, of constitutional republics. So how many states out of the 50 states ever wrote their own constitution, uh, drafted it into the halls of justice, in the court of law, and operated their nation as a republic? I don't know the answer to that question. There's only so many things I can study. I ain't got time for knitting that shit. Oh, I ain't I already know, and they'll send me the answer in an email so I can know it next time. Anyways, anyone give me that answer in the comments first. I see it. You'll get a shit tarred sandwich. Which, if I even would have got a shit sandwich, like USPS overnighted to me in the last 11 days, then when those people that have a shit ton of money and see an advertisement that says, I so far in the last seven days, I've asked like 4,000 Americans to participate in Grandma Babs. Feed my starving indigenous children of the world. Well, anything you can have, five dollars would be nice. And then I hit send. If someone would have just sent me a shit sandwich, then what all those motherfuckers say as a response, dude, get a lazy man, get a job, he shouldn't die. Then I could have at least ate something. No, but they're that stupid. They're like. Everyone says you need help, but not a single person is helpful in any way at all. And that is so worse. It's so worse getting any other answer. The man, I will be glad to help you with three dollars, five dollars. The average American always has at least a twenty that they can throw down. And not even remember spending it on some chips, some pop, like five of those little blingy ding colorly things at the dollar store. Don't know what they are, but you just got to get some because they're three for a dollar. And then you just go put them somewhere. That's where they go. Yeah, man, that's a brilliant idea, China. China, make us a bunch more 
like blingy blingy ding ding and they should be flashing and they should flash harder and stronger the more you beat them around. So when your little flingy ding ding toy comes home to a Walmart near you for the low low price of a uh, how about eight ninety nine? No, that's not on test too much. So we're not gonna get a pretty little shiny flashy ding ding flicker. And um, okay, three ninety nine. All right. And it's cost China like twenty dollars a piece to make, but we have a good deal going on. So um, this thing is gonna be called. The blingy blingy ding dong, uh, fuck shark flip up, and it, what it's for is um a couple things. Well, we're gonna tell the instruction that uh, if you talk to it, it'll start blinking. So then, what it does is, whenever you're not talking to it, not only does it bling. But it goes, Ree! or something like that. Because Americans are into that shit. And, um, so then anyways, whenever you're not talking to it, it just violently assaults you with energy waves. The lights get stronger. And here's a good thing you can do with them. It'll be in the truck. This is especially for times when your stupid, little, dumb shit, fuck tar flip out. That came out of your body. The, those things. That you gotta fucking put clothes on man. And uh. If they're not feeding themselves. And changing their diapers by the age of three. You just beat them. Till, till they do that. And that's good American parenting. That's good Christian love. That's a Christian thing. Brought to you by the Christians. The lead death cult pedophile on the planet. That any time I call the FBI to report, as soon as I say child sex trafficking network, click. That's it. Anyone, any law enforcement I talk to in America, and I say that, click. All that confirms it. It's government supported. Well, you gotta make money somehow to take care of your people. I mean, if they're not gonna make money for us, then we're gonna make them money for us. And uh, I suggest you all get 5G phones. They're way awesome. I can't get one till next year because I'm on insurance installments and all that. I only live on 1175 a month. Which not a single one of the 60 fat ass stuff of shelf shit full. All proud about it. All living, having fun lives. Well, I used to have like 1,500 people. I'm a medicine man. I'm from the Anishinaabeg. Sovereign tribal royal nations of America. Which, um, you, I guarantee you, none of you are going to believe this. But uh, we were here over 12 billion years ago, and we maintained our highly advanced uh, society and civilization at exactly 60 million inhabitants. And the reason why we did that is because that's what our creators told us to do. They said, that's it. That's the magic number. If you let a couple, two, three die and you don't pop out more, um, well then, war, hell, or whatever. I'm trying to remember because I've been under a brainwash for the last 43 years. I've been here on your planet, undercover, and I'm the first intergalactic, interplanetary embassy, uh, ambassador that has been like tons of them coming throughout the last. Further than you have recorded history, every time the society hails us, we're bound by our duty as the United Nations ambassadors to respond to the hail for help. I mean, that makes sense, right? So, here's the story. Well, every time, 
every time in the whole ancient history, except this anomaly this time, well, what happened was, as soon as they landed and made contact, um, a whole pack of extremely savage, voracious, aggressive perpetrators, a malignant narcissist, they didn't even have time to be malignantly narcissists because like five minutes later, all that was left was to do skulls. And uh, you all know about this in uh, Roswell in 1947. Uh, Roswell 1947. Well, it's insane that we keep coming back because that dude who crashed in that UFO was my brother. And the things you people did to him to try to force, extract information out of him that we, he was there to give you anyways if you would have just let him talk instead of going ape shit, crazy fucking dissecting him to life slowly. Um, well, a lot of things would have happened. Uh, that would have prevented what's coming now. But, you know, when you cross a line and you do to a being what they did to me in the last 10 years in the, uh, hey, what do you say to someone like me, you Americans? Hey, you need help. I think you need help. You need help. I, you should go and talk to the hospital or they say this, you should get on some meds, man. You need some medicine. You know, so anyways, well, when I first made contact, uh, and I got my, uh, I went on what's called a Native American Vision Quest, and what you do is you go up on a mountain that you're led to for three days and three nights with no water, just tobacco, and then if you were ready, it's the right time, what happens is a, a divine intercession. God, like straight up, uh, our creator is Ichimani do Wong and Taka, and the mother gods are Gichigumi in Mississippi. So, anyways, I just went at the right exact time when I was called and get up to the top of the mountain in Alpha Omega, California. And I'm like, and he comes, Gichimani do. And it's like so beyond awesome. And I did I was so abused by Christopher Gerard Stevens, born on February 5th, 1953, St. Paul, Minnesota, and his high satanic um, black princess witch bitch, uh, Susan Marie Stevens, Reichen by Woog, born 11 6 1956. And what I'd like you guys to do is call these guys. Um, and just rain haterade on the things they did to me and are still doing to me, are trying, but are the reason that I have not left my locked hotel room in like 11 days, who are also the reason I haven't eaten in 11 days. The things they do to... So, uh, well, they don't consider anything at all. The things they do to those shitheads, um, those worthless pieces of fuck shit, all you are and all you ever be good for is this. And then you're in a satanic ritual, and they do say unspeakable shit to you. And then you're sacrificed. But it's way worse than that. Like, for me, um, they always located where it was coming. And when I hit my third month of gestation in my mother's womb, they went ahead and found uh, and violently knifed and raped to death my mother, and then just left me there. Wow, that's really cool. Anyways, and then in the last ten years, they developed a whole new system that the whole country of America knows about, not only that, they participate actively in, because, um, I can't tell you how many times I reach out to friends, 
when I was just being and talking the way I am being and talking, because that's the way I am, and that's the way I talk. Well, they go all crazy as fuck, psychotic and delusional and hardcore demonic. They see exactly a bunch of shit. Jump out, man. You need magic or COVID. I'm scared. I'm scared for my safety. You're not making any sense. You're psychotic. And I'm like, oh shit, here we go again. And I didn't even fucking. Um, we did studies. And I was absolutely had to. Uh, I had to use no more in America than. A third grade vocabulary, sentence structure, and like the kids always understand me. By third grade, they're intelligent creatures. Not only that, but they're the future of tomorrow. And so, uh, man, your shit fuck, flip tower, fuck up the shit job, where you sell your kids in a sex slave traffic. To go be in Hollywood and on movies and on Ellen and all this shit. Anyways, well, watch the reality TV show that happens. Watch what happens when, as an anointed uh, monarch from the Vatican, the Papa Francisco absolutely clearly saw me uh, last week when I summoned him. Because uh, when I summoned him on March 13th, 2013, he already knew me. He flew to Minneapolis. And that's why I, I anointed him. Me, Papa Francisco, established him as the reign, the one and only reign monarch. Because the true fact of the matter is, not only is the reincarnation of St. Francis of Assisi, who's the painter's saint, to abuse unwanted, not even left in orphanages, left out in the middle of the woods with nothing at all. And uh, he would find them. He's also the painter saint of animals, plants, any living organism that is struggling. And uh, he literally is the only ever priest of Roman Catholicism that simply remained absolutely crystal clear. Never had a single thing to do with anything having to do with all that that all of them did. I mean, he, he, why? I mean, because, uh, well, how can you not be who you are? How can you not be who you are? When you know who you are, really know, because you were born into a family that is expecting you, because long before you were born, centuries ago, three magi from a land far away uh, came as emissaries to your town and your family, and they said, uh, uh, here's the deal. Well, we just saw the star of your ancient return, ascended master, the original um, creator, father, mother of your tribe, of your family. And according to our calculations, they're always right. See, and this is in like 700 B.C., and you're living somewhere over in the other part of the world, in the Middle Eastern or whatever, and they show up at your door, bearing gifts, uh, establishing enough, uh, enough money to establish a trust fund and a bank account, and enough money, and they say this. Um, he's coming here 800 years ago, 800 years from here, in the 13th century, on the thirteenth month, on the third, on the thirteenth day, of the third month, here's where you need to be, and your family from now on, your entire family, every single person related to you, 
absolutely has to uh, give everything they make, everything they earn, all the profits on their investments, and invest really well, and then they tell them how to. And then, uh, then what they say is, you do this, you follow these um, steps, you follow these exact order instructions that were given to us from a divine deity, Trinity, that is so far away from here that you cannot even conceive of how far it is. It comes from a land far, far away from a different time and a different place who happens to be the person, the entity, the being, the, the almighty divinity or whatever you call whatever you call back in those days. And he made this planet just for his St. Francis of Assisi to become here to help all of your families from the ages of the ages of the raping and the slave master and the up above fuck Hebrews and uh, all this crazy shit you people do. You homo sapiens sapiens are very interesting creatures. But you just don't follow anything ever having to do with any commandment from any of the homo uh, from any of the books. Well yeah, that's not true. I'm just throwing it off a little bit. Uh, there always have been. There always will be. Uh, beings who absolutely positively are like St. Francis of Assisi there, or Papa Francisco up in the Vatican, who literally just are instructed so well, so properly, and just literally have no way to falter from their uh, royal, divine, sacred duties to humanity as ambassadors from uh, the good Lord God Almighty. And, uh, and, uh, well, that's all for today's sermon. And I want you in my church as a most reasonable uh, answer to everyone's prayers that keep praying. And it's pretty cool because a good chunky all pray. And what praying means is that when he, this is a good one. When I put out that um, request, and I'm putting it up right now again, go to www dot paypal dot com slash Nathan Starchild and show some generosity show some uh, dignity show some civility show some humanity cause I ain't no never met no human being yet cause that's what you all call yourself so I'm gonna challenge you to go ahead and be what you are and what you claim to be and I'm going to just fully believe that no one is going to send me any money. And I can only go for so long without needed vital nutrients, minerals, vitamins, amino acids. Because I'm stuck in this human vessel, which by the laws of all laws... I mean, get intergalactic out of it. By God's laws given to you all in every perceivable, conceivable language, in every era, millennium, century, in every time of this whole existence, it's in there that says, well, if you see someone suffering and asking for help, if you see someone suffering and they're not asking for help, you go ahead and help them. And if you're dead, bury them properly. You bless them. And you leave them uh, food and whatnot for their next lifetime. You don't just go ahead and uh, 
shove them in a river or pop them in a hole or go on knifing them and go fuck them and be necrophiliacs. So that's what everyone did. Oh my, everyone. Well, a huge percentage of your planet, of you people, are just scientifically uh, inbred retards. But we love you. And we love you so much in every possible way that you're guaranteed to always attack us. And we're just done. I proved it. Untrainable, unevolvable, undisposable, savage shitheads. Holy shit, man, get me out of this shithead. I need extraction. Hail the Queen, Knights of Malta, Knights Templars, not Knights of Columbus, um, and uh, Red Hospital, Red Stars, um, Boy Scouts, huh? The best helpers for me would be my people's army, which I called out a couple years ago, that consists of kindergartners, first graders, second graders, and third graders. And they will be uniting because those three things I just mentioned, kindergartners, first graders, second graders, third graders, were according to our demographic study and NSA video surveillance, the only demographic left on the planet that actually really wants to ASAP do something about it. So we've been sending out messages and we're working on assembling the forces and they are stoked about this shit. Because we're on the, the third graders are frontline hit squad sniper hit forces fully trained Locked and loaded with, I can't reveal which country's uh, automatics, but like an AK. (coughs) (coughs) With as many or as little or as few of them we need to quell the riots, the protests, and literally to... uh, <clears throat> be holed up, locked in a Capitol building or the cathedral, any building, anywhere that they know where you are and you haven't paid your taxes and you're totally identified and exposed on the dark web and the contracts and uh, the search warrants and the death warrants and, and these kids are going to be loving like, all right, here you go, and you hand out your army, there's 30 kids, there's 33 of them, each one gets a warrant and death certificate, and they get paid big oodles of cash to go assassinate the fuck out of that shit hard. It has to be in public, it has to be on YouTube, and when they follow the rules, well, they get their own house, car, uh, and any parents they want to buy with their money, and we got a whole huge selection of them, and then the, what their assignment day 